yeah, I'm very thankful that we are finally going Christmas shopping today. We've just had her bone age come back and it wasn't what I expected. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are finally going Christmas shopping. I'm so excited. We're so late. It's like the 14th. Is it the 14th today? 14th of December. So we literally have 10 days until Freya's birthday, 11 days till Christmas. Yeah, I'm very thankful that we are finally going Christmas shopping today. Hopefully trying to get most of it done today, but we probably won't. We'll probably have to end up ordering stuff online because it's cheaper because hubby's very frugal and careful and likes getting deals but yeah we're gonna go in and we're gonna go shopping and i'm gonna take you with us until we basically dropped my feet are killing me it serves me right for always wearing heels but especially when it's just hubby and i going shopping i do like to make an effort in what i'm wearing and i put on different boots that i normally wear they weren't as comfy because i don't wear them very often so my balls of my feet are rather painful this evening I had a really really good time though well hubby's doing dinner i said i want pizza tonight because I just fancy some like comfort food I think so we've just had if you've been on this channel for a while you know that Elsa my youngest daughter has gone through various tests and assessments and things like that over the past year or so and we've just had her bone age come back and it wasn't what I expected so she is six years old I think she's six years and three months but when she had the bone age test she was like five years and six months five years and eight months something like that like it took such a long time for them to have translated for some reason i think because the doctors are so busy with obviously the pandemic but it's come back that her bone age is delayed and she has a bone age of three years old and that shocked me actually freya's gone through all of these tests and mris and blood tests and all sorts and but she always came back as nothing you know and nothing's wrong everything's within the normal range having this result for elsa actually is a little bit of a shock and they're referring her for a growth, growth clinic. Um, so right at this moment, I really don't know what it means because I've kind of believed that everything would be fine like it was with Freya and that she was just small, but that's not the case or it doesn't look like that's the case. So I'm not gonna do like a big update because to be honest, I don't know, but it has shocked me a little bit. So yeah, comfort food tonight, pizza and garlic bread, please. I don't really know what that means. I know friends that have had growth hormone therapy. When I was a baby, I was meant to have had growth hormone therapy, so she's definitely got my genes, the poor little sod. Look who's just attached herself to me. We actually just bathed Eva and Elsa when we came home from school, because I didn't have enough time to do it yesterday. Normally we have bath time on a Sunday. Didn't have enough time. We quickly bathed you, didn't we? But we haven't had a hair wash, because nobody ha likes hair washes. Look how big she is on me now. She's so heavy. Big girl now, aren't you? We're just gonna clean the work top, aren't we? You helping me? Oh. Oh, it's like having a baby again. I actually just took a walk down to the pharmacy because Eva has been prescribed for her cough asthma -y situation that's going on. She's been prescribed like a steroid to do for six weeks, like a steroid pump. So I needed to go and collect that. So I took a walk in the dark on my own. It was actually a little bit scary to be honest, but it was really pretty because everyone's got all their Christmas lights out, but I didn't want to film anything. But yeah, I went to the pharm pharmacy and I scared the, the lady in there because she was hoovering. And like, I tried to open the door really like slowly so that she would kind of realize that I was there. Um, but it still made her jump and I felt really bad for her. And then I just popped to a friend's house because Freya is doing a Christmas bake off tomorrow, which I'm gonna try and film. My friend's a baker, so she actually has these like boxes that you can use. So she's very kindly gifted us a couple of those to use. So I'm very grateful for that. And so Freya be when she can take her brownies in hopefully in one piece. That's the end of today's video, but I'll see you all soon. <laughs> 